In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a loop using part of the beat of an existing track in Adobe Audition. Now, this technique is used if you don't have access to the instrumental of a track, but you would like to use this track as part of your production, like for an ad or something like that. So we're inside Adobe Audition in the multi-track view, and this is the track that I would like to use. So you could take a listen. All right, so as you heard, there's the vocals above the instrumentals. Terrible auto-tune. So I can't use that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the end of the track because you would notice that with some music tracks, towards the end, there's part of the track that exists where there's just the instrumental. So this is what I'm going to use in this case. So from here, I've got the instrumental. So I'm just going to edit the waveform and just going to split and get rid of this piece. And we're just going to work with this bit right here. So let's take a listen. Nice. Now this is what we're going to use. But as you heard, there's a little bit of a problem. The track fades out. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. But before I can do that, I'm just going to edit the waveform and bring it into where I want the beat to end. So I believe it's at this point. All right, so now that I have the waveform all clipped up, so what I'm going to do to correct the fade out is that I'm going to insert keyframes on the volume line, which is this yellow line here. So to insert a keyframe, you just double click on the line. So I'm gonna insert two keyframes and I'm gradually going to fade up the volume of the track so that the end part where it fades out matches the rest where the fade began, before the fade began, sorry. So let's take a listen. Nice. So now that we have that part, we're going to take this part of the waveform and we're going to bounce it down to a new track. So we could either select the waveform by clicking and dragging, or we could just right click on just the clip and we're going down to bounce the new track, select the track. So it renders onto the new track below and there we go. So we're just going to solo this. And now that we have this piece, we're going to right click on this new clip and we're going to select loop. And now what we've done is we've created a loop. So if we navigate to the end of the waveform and drag it out, you'll see that the waveform has just duplicated itself. And if we... And there we go. Now we have a loop of the instrumental that we could use in our productions. I hope that this tutorial has been useful to you. Happy creating.